Hello broadcasters, Gage here. Today I'm going to be walking through creating and scheduling your very first multi-stream. Uh, I'm super excited for this video because this is my favorite StreamYard feature just because it's so, so powerful. Uh, so let's get into it. Uh, make sure you have destinations connected for wherever you'd like to multi-stream. As you can see, I have a Facebook page, LinkedIn page, and YouTube channel connected. Uh, if you're watching this video, you'll, you're probably already familiar with uh, how to add a destination. Um, if you don't have it connected, you'll also be able uh, and be given the opportunity to connect it as you create uh, your broadcast. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's create our very first multi-stream. So go ahead and hit the create a broadcast button and you'll be prompted to choose uh, where you'd like to broadcast to. So for this example, let's go live to my Facebook page and YouTube channel. So I just go ahead and select them. You can also see this button here. So if you didn't happen to have one of the destinations that you'd like to go live to connected, uh, you'd be able to connect it right here uh, in this modal. So I'm just gonna call this test stream and I'll give the description test. And yeah, let's go ahead and schedule this for later. Um, and as you can sort of see here, this title and description um, and schedule time is gonna be applied to the Facebook post and YouTube event that is going out, which is pretty awesome. So you'll have this shareable link that you can, that you can give out to uh, your audience beforehand. Uh, 225 is all right, so let's go ahead and customize for each destination. So this step allows you to change things uh, for each destination that you're going live to. So if you wanted to have a slightly different title for YouTube, say like test stream YouTube, uh, maybe a, a slightly different description, you could change that. Uh, same with Facebook, you just click Facebook and, and you can change the parameters here. And then after you have everything uh, set up to your, uh, to your liking, you just go ahead and hit that create broadcast button and the broadcast will be created and your, your links will be generated and ready to share with your audience. You just have to click this more section here. And you can see there's view on Facebook, which will take you to the Facebook post and view on YouTube, which will take you to the YouTube event. And if you'd like to share those out, uh, you just need to click uh, whichever one you're sharing out and uh, share that link out to your, to your audience. And same as before, you have the invite a guest button. Uh, you can edit things at any time uh, and also delete them if you like. So as you can see, if I hit edit, that's that same modal will pop up and uh, you can go ahead and change uh, whatever you'd like to change and then just click save changes. Okay, now let's go ahead and enter the broadcast studio. So just click the enter broadcast studio button. Hey there. And we can see some of the additions that have been made for multi-streaming. So as you can see, um, things aren't too different. Uh, the biggest change you'll notice is that now you can see all the places you're going live to listed at the top there. Um, and one really nice feature is you're actually able to edit things at any time, even while you're while you're live. So uh, let's just see how that looks. Let's click the Facebook dropdown and click edit. And you'll see that modal that you're probably starting to get quite familiar with. And yeah, you can change the title at any time, the description at any time. Same with YouTube, you can change YouTube. Um, and you can even remove uh, destinations um, while you're live. So let's just X out of this. So if you decided that um, okay, so we're going to just have maybe an after show on just one platform. You could say stop Facebook or stop YouTube towards the end of the stream and still be going live to the other uh, destination, which is pretty cool. Um, so I'm going to add myself to the feed here and let's try going live. So I'm going to hit the go live button and we can see how the chat works and how um, the notif notifications will update for our destination. So let's hit go live. Uh, are you sure you want to go live now? So we scheduled at 2.25, but we're just going to start early. So I'm going to hit that go live button. Uh, let's discuss some of the changes for comments. So uh, you can see here that it says all. So if I was to post a comment right now, it would go to the Facebook post and the YouTube event. But you can uh, also change it so it just goes to one. So let's try just Facebook. If I just type in, let's say, uh, FB test, um, that will just go to Facebook. And it will also appear here when it's successfully sent. So it's been successfully sent and I can show that uh, on screen, of course. Same with YouTube, let's try YouTube. Let's do YT test. Uh, so that will just be sent to uh, YouTube. And then let's of course finish things by sending one to both destinations. So let's call it test all. Um, and this will be sent to the Facebook post and the YouTube event and both will appear uh, right here in the studio. Perfect, so I can show those on screen. And uh, if we look up here, we can see these check marks means, uh, mean that 
Everything's Good. We're live on Facebook and YouTube right now. And like I said before, you can actually edit things while you are live and even remove them while you are live, which uh, is pretty exciting. Um, and if you want to see how things look, which of course we don't recommend because uh, you might get, you'll, or you will get echo if you don't have headphones on, but just to make sure things are working, you can go over to YouTube and Facebook and uh, look at things there. So let's end our multi-stream broadcast uh, and conclude this tutorial.